Hello guys, it's Deep Shaw here and today I'm going to show you how to give this watercolor painting effect to your photos in Photoshop. Also, if you want to learn how to create such cool things using Photoshop, then hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So this is the model image which we'll be using in order to create a watercolor painting effect. Now the first step over here we need to do is check the size of the image. So for that go to image and then select option image size. After that make sure that the height and the width of the image is between 2000 and 3000 pixels. So let me just reduce it and then click on ok. After that let me just zoom into the image. And then the next step we need to do is create a new document. So for that go to file and then select option new. After that set the width as 1280 pixels, height as 720 pixels and resolution as 300 pixels per inch or else you can set it accordingly as well. After that we need to fill this document with that of a nice gradient color so for that click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select option gradient. After that click on this drop down and select gradient as black and white. After that click on this gradient icon besides the drop down over here which will give you another pop up. And then over there double click on the left bottom color stop which will let you choose a color. So I will be setting it as CBC0A6 and then click on ok. After that click on ok. And then set the style as radial, angle as 90 degree and then scale it to 300% and then click on ok. Now after that we need to bring in the model image over here so for that go to model image document and then using move tool drag to our newly created document as follows and then place it. After that we need to scale this image so for that press ctrl plus T. Let me just zoom out of the image. After that you can scale down the image by dragging from the corner, press shift while dragging to scale it evenly. So now this size looks proper, after that click on the stick icon to place it. Now after that we need to fill this remaining portion of the document although it's not compulsory but let's fill it. So for that select rectangular marquee tool and then using rectangular marquee tool make the selection of that portion as follows. After that right click inside of the selection and then select option fill. Then set the use as content aware and then click on ok. After that press ctrl plus d to deselect the selection. Now after that let's convert this image into a smart object so for that right click on the layer and then select option convert to smart object. After that we need to give some kind of painting effect to the image over here so for that go to filter and then select option filter gallery. After that expand the artistic folder. And then select option cutout. After that set the number of levels as 5, edge simplicity as 4 and edge fidelity as 2. After applying the effect your image should look something like this. After that click on ok. After that we need to reduce the opacity of this filter so for that double click on the filter blending options. And then reduce the opacity to 50%. And then click on ok. After that again go to filter and then select option filter gallery. After that expand the artistic folder and then select option dry brush. Now after that set the brush size as 2, brush detail as 8 and then texture as 1. Note you can change the details according to your image as well. So after applying the effect your image should look something like this and then click on ok. Now we need to reduce the opacity of this filter as well so for that double click on this dry brush filter blending options icon and then reduce the opacity to 50% and then click on ok. So now as you can see our image has started looking like a painting but it is looking a bit rough so let's smooth it out so for that again go to filter and then select option oil paint. After that set the stylization as 4, cleanliness as 3. Scale as 0.1, bristle detail as 0, angular direction as 0 and shine as 0. After applying the filter your image should look something like this and then click on ok. And now we need to reduce the opacity of this filter as well so for that double click on the oil paint filter blending options icon and then reduce its opacity to 30% and then click on ok. So as you can see our painting is now looking proper, after that click on add layer mask icon and then press ctrl plus i e to invert the mask. So as you can see our image is now no more visible. After that select brush tool. And then set the foreground color as white. And then click on ok. 
After that click on toggle brush panel icon. Now after that select any watercolor brush from the brush section. Download link for this watercolor brush is in the description below. Also if you don't know how to load these brushes in photoshop then all you need to do is click on this drop down brush icon. And then after that click on this gear icon. And then select the option load brushes over there. Now after that you need to select the ABR file which you have downloaded and extracted from the zip folder and then click on this load option over here. I won't do it since I have already loaded it so I am clicking on this cancel option over here. Now once you have loaded the brush, your brush should be visible in this brush section. So after that select any brush from it. You can increase and decrease the size of the brush using the square bracket keys of your keyboard. Now after that using the brush click on the document. So as you can see as you click on the document it brings back the image in the form of that of the brush. So like this way we need to cover the whole face of the model. You can select different types of watercolor brushes in order to make it look more real. Also you can change the angle of the brush using this slider over here. Now once the face of the model has been covered, you can cover the slight slight portion of the corners as well. So now as you can see our painting is looking proper. Now let's add some splashes to make it look more realistic. So for that create a new layer by clicking on create new layer icon. After that set the foreground color as any light grey color. And then click on ok. After that select any splatter brush, download link for this splatter brush is in the description below. And then using the brush click on the document as follows. Over here also you can select different types of brushes. Now once that is done, after that reduce the fill of the layer to 50%. So as you can see now this is looking proper, now let's minimize this brush preset panel. So now as you can see our painting is looking quite dull over here, now let's enhance its color to make it look more better. So for that click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option brightness and contrast. After that increase the contrast to 15. After that again click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option hue saturation. After that you can increase the saturation accordingly but I am increasing it over here to 15 and then minimize it. After that again click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option photo filter. After that set the filter as warming filter and then density as 25% and then minimize it. And then change the blend mode of this photo filter layer to soft light. After that reduce its opacity to 10%. So as you can see after applying this filter it is looking so good. So that's it guys this will give you your watercolor painting effect in photoshop. Now if you guys like this video then hit the like button. Also share it to the ones who might be interested in such videos and subscribe to the channel for more videos in photoshop. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.